Right, what is going on guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to properly transcode, colour correct and colour grade your DSLR image. Now I've been trying out lots of different ways to get my DSLR footage looking as clean, as colourful as possible. And I'm going to show you what my current workflow is like for December 2013. So to transcode the footage, we're going to be using 5D to RGB by Rare Vision. This is the 32-bit edition. And we're going to go to my footage and drag it over. Add that in. So this is going to be slightly different for each camera, but for me, I'm going to be using the uncompressed 10-bit 422 at 23.976 uh, frames per second. I'm using the decoding matrix of Rec.709 and the flatter gamma flagging. So we're going to convert that and put it into our documents. So now the transcoding is complete, I can go to my documents, find it, and open that up into Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Now I'm going to be rushing through this bit, but if you do not know how to use Premiere Pro, I've got a full beginner's guide right here. Click on that and you'll learn exactly how I'm doing what I'm going to do. Load your footage onto the timeline and we're going to clip it to the parts we want. So probably there will be fine for us. So first to colour correct we're going to go to Window, Reference Monitor and go to the Spanner and make sure you've got the YC waveform up. We're going to go to Effect and search for the three-way colour corrector. Drag that onto your footage and go to Effect Controls. So 100 is where you want your highlights to hit and just there is where you want your shadows to hit. So make sure you've got that correct. If it isn't, just sort it. And we're not looking at the deep blue, we're looking at the light blue. So make sure the light blue is hitting both top and bottom. Now on this particular clip, there is a lot of the light blue around the 60. We want That is the mid-range basically. We want the mid-range to be at 50 because that is middle of the range. We're going to bring that middle slider down like so and that will add more contrast and pop to our image. Add saturation because I shot this flat on my Nikon DSLR. Now we can see already just with a quick correct that has drastically improved that image makes it much more contrasty and saturated. That is corrected now. So to colour grade your image, we're going to go to effects, we're going to go to your colour grader of choice. For me, I'm going to be using Red Giant's Colorstina 2. This is a paid for plugin. Uh, you can use whatever you want, but for me, this is one that I enjoy. Philip Bloom use, uses it also. So as a general rule of thumb, we normally use blues for the shadows and an orange for the mids. Now that, that's just a general rule of thumb. You don't just keep to that, but it's always good to experiment first using that. So we're going to take it just a blue and we're going to see this is a personal choice the grading so it's not going to be wrong, it's not going to be right but just get it where you want, you won't be able to see much on happening on my display because it is through the video once you've added the shadows we can now add in the mid-tone to the point or colour where you want now this was shot on a summer day so I want to keep that really warm mid-tones in the video but we don't want to lose that now for the highlights, this is actually optional, you don't need to add highlights, but I'm going to push them to just a hint of light blue. Now at this point, if you think your footage needs more saturation, add it in on this here. So if we take a look of the image in more detail, we can see that we've gone from this to corrected and then to color graded, and that is my personal preference, but I always go a bit further with this and I add in Gorilla Green. So we're going to go in and this is again, this is an optional, not plug-in, but it's optional footage that I have. Okay, so once you've imported the Gorilla Green, we're going to drag it on top of the current footage and trim it to size. Now obviously you can see it's just completely covered that over. What you need to do is go to Effect Controls, Opacity and hit the Blending Mode to Overlay. This will overlay the image of the green onto your video and what this does is it adds that more natural green and it, it is optional you don't need it but I do really like it. One more thing you can do to take away the digitalness from your video 
is go to effects and if you have the reg giant color suite we can use the denoiser add that on to the video footage on the bottom and it will slow down temporarily for this I'm going to just temporarily take off my gorilla green using this now what this denoiser will do automatically is scan the image and take away any digital noise which even in bright daylight you do get a digital noise from video specifically so it will do that automatically and do that at the end because it will slow down your computer and you can't start editing after that I'm going to add on the Gorilla Green and that is my current workflow for my DSLR. It cleans it up, it colours it, it grades it and it adds that film green which we all love. Now obviously I will go and export this but you should try this out. Get Adobe Premiere Pro up and start correcting and grading properly with your transcoded DSLR footage and it will make such a difference to your workflow. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment and subscribe because I will be doing more videos like this. I'll see you soon.